Good morning, Command Sergeant Major Everett, Command Sergeant Major Thomas, Mr. McKinney, Mr. Ortiz, Command Sergeant Major Lara, families and friends, welcome to the Non-Commissioned Officer Leadership Center of Excellence graduation ceremony for the Army's Master Leaders course, Distributed Learning. I am Master Sergeant Sierra Nelson, and I will be the narrator for today's ceremony. At this time, the invocation will be given by Chaplain Joseph Salem, followed by the playing of the National Anthem. Let us pray. Almighty God, we welcome your presence in our ceremony today as we honor these esteemed graduates of the Master Leader Course. Thank you for the new insights and wisdom they've gained, for they now go forth to further strengthen our military's backbone as they lead the way in the cause of freedom in increasingly complex global operating environments. God, grant each graduate wisdom to apply themselves to the challenges ahead. May they rise boldly to lead with professionalism and honor. May they be passionate stewards of our Army's people-first vocation. And Lord, we thank you for our dedicated MLC instructors and staff who have worked so diligently to lay a strong foundation for excellence ahead. Finally, Lord, we ask for your protection and strength for all present here, for our invaluable military families, and especially those in harm's way this very day. We pray all these things in your mighty name. Amen. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, for oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting. flag was still there. Who say does that star-spangled banner yet away? Oh, the land of the free and the home The Master Leaders course was developed to prepare selected senior non-commissioned officers for positions of greater responsibility throughout the Department of Defense. The aim of the course is to further develop the professional skills and competencies required of Master Sergeants in the 21st century. This is accomplished in a rigorous learning environment where the program is designed to test each student on all important aspects of performance for the increased leadership and management responsibilities required of all senior non-commissioned officers. These graduates have completed a demanding six-week course in an asynchronous online learning environment that focuses on topics such as leadership, operations management, joint operations, and communications that assist in preparing them to transition from a tactical leader to an operational leader. This course of study will enhance their professional abilities as senior non-commissioned officers and additionally, they will assist the Non-Commissioned Officer Leadership Center of Excellence and the Army as we formalize this important gateway of NCO progression and education. It is my pleasure to introduce the Chief of Master Leader Course, Sergeant Major Soraya Bacchus. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I would like to recognize the facilitators of the Master Leaders Course. Master Sergeant Santos Lainez, Master Sergeant Daniel Britt, Master Sergeant Jeremiah Rogers, Master Sergeant Coy Hartman, Master Sergeant Sierra Nelson, Master Sergeant Cherie Mayon, Master Sergeant James Rashley, Mr. Patrick Quirk, Mr. Frederick Love, and Mr. Ramon Inseriaga. Congratulations on a job well done and for the mentorship and guidance you continue to provide your students. 
Good morning, Command Sergeant Major Everett, Command Sergeant Major Thomas, Mr. McKinney, Mr. Ortiz, Command Sergeant Major Lara, family, friends, and our students. Welcome to today's graduation ceremony for our Master Leaders Distributed Learning Course. Congratulations on successfully completing the Master Leader course. I know the past six weeks have been challenging and demanding as you were faced with balancing your everyday duties and responsibilities of family life, daily jobs, and completing all course requirements in a timely manner. But you've accepted the challenge willingly. You remain focused, never losing sight of the finish line. Now here we are, at the finish line, of a job well done. You endured the challenges of the digital world and an online community that can sometimes make you feel a bit disconnected from the real world. But you adapted and you endured. Today, I encourage you to continue to be that adaptive and agile leader wherever you are planted. Introduce the knowledge you've gained here at MLC in your soldiers and at your units. Graduating means you now have more tools in your toolkit to lead them to fight and win in today's complex operational environment. It is now my honor to introduce our guest speaker for today's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, honored guests and Master Leaders Course Class 40424. Good morning and thank you for inviting me to speak at this monumental occasion. One minute you're a young specialist and having fun, the next you're a first sergeant predicting the weather with your bad knees. I hope that every one of you has gained some perspective from this course, or at the very least you have learned something, not just about Army policies, guidance, and leadership, but also about yourself to execute those policies, guidance, and be better leaders. I have learned so much through my experiences more than any book or TikTok video. So to fill some time into this morning's ceremony, I will share some of those lessons learned that I continue to learn. Leaders, we set the pace. If we are inconsistent, our teams will be too. If we seem to never leave the office, our teams will wonder if they should be pulling all-nighters too. If we can find and demonstrate a sustainable rhythm, our teams will understand that consistent progress towards goals is what we are seeking. We must take care of ourselves. The familiar flight instructions capture it well. Please secure your oxygen mask before assisting others. If we're not taking care of our own health and well-being, we'll eventually be unable to provide an environment where others can be healthy as well. We must keep learning. Our world is changing at a pace never seen before. To lead our communities and organizations to a better future, we must make time for learning. As a leader, one of the most important benefits we can give our teams is to be organized and intentional. It's also one of the best feelings we can give ourselves. When the leader isn't focused, organized, and stable, the organization suffers. The same is true for families, teams, or any other units. Get organized. When it's time to execute, vagueness becomes another barrier to overcome. While you're in planning mode, take the time to be specific. You'll thank yourself later, and so will your team. The accurate price of leadership is the willingness to place the needs of others above your own. Great leaders genuinely care about those they are privileged to lead and understand that the true cost of leadership privilege comes at the expense of self-interest. We can always find excuses or reasons that we don't have the time and there's usually no one to question that. But that's not the real challenger. We know that this practice often leads to scary, difficult and or complicated situation and we just don't want to face them, at least not right now. So we stay in reactive mode, diligently participating in the latest fire drill, convincing ourselves that we're busy enough. We can do better. By using a roadmap, we can guide ourselves through the process and, proce process and push through mental hurdles. Get accountability in place. This is the force multiplier we often forget. There's no shortage of jokes or complaints about how horrible meetings can be. They're boring, they're pointless, they're a waste of time. Leaders know that meetings are essential for excellence. Leaders know that meetings are the ultimate lever capable of providing and producing exponential results. A meeting worth calling is a meeting worthy of intensive preparation. Your aim is to be high and strategic, even when the topic is trivial. 
Every meeting that does not stir the imagination and curiosity of attendees and increase bonding and cooperation and engagement and sense of worth is, and motive, rapid action, enhanced performance, enthusiasm is a permanently lost opportunity. People often say that motivation doesn't last. Well, neither does bathing. That's why we recommend it daily. One of the most powerful forces we can leverage is consistency. Regularly postponing or canceling one-on-ones with your team members sends the message that you're not interested in their success or not capable of supporting them. Few of us experience work environments free of pressure or stress. Today's world is intense. One of the best ways to manage stress is to keep perspective as we encounter challenges. Clarity in our purpose and values helps guide our decision making, particularly when a sacrifice is required. As we get to the end of today's event, take time to share your gratitude with your family, friends, and civilian and military teammates that have supported you to get where you are sitting today. If you haven't heard it recently from anyone else, I am proud of every one of you for keeping your momentum and to drive forward through adversities and challenges. The most valuable thing you can give anyone is your time. And although every day may not feel like Christmas, I hope each and every one of you felt the gift of time I gave you all today. Take ownership, be accountable. <laughs>